chin down onto your chest and roll down vertebra by vertebra, keeping your belly button pulled in and just slowly try and go one vertebra at a time down to the floor. And breathing in when you're at the bottom and breathing out. Start by pulling your belly button in towards your spine and stacking one vertebra on top of the other. Imagine a string of pearls as you would kind of drop it down onto the floor and up. And one more like that. Breathing in. And up. Chin down first. Curling down. Relax the arms. Tucking in your tummy. Curling all the way down. So you should feel a nice stretch in the low back as you go down. And hold it here. Swing your arms side to side like a rag doll. Relax the head. And on a breath out, curling up. Pull the belly button in towards your spine. Your head comes up very last. Good. Now arms up above your head. Breathing in. And breathing out. Stretch your bottom out behind you. Reaching forward. Reach your chin out. And curling down. Slowly coming up. Remember stacking that vertebra one vertebra at a time. Make sure you're all muted. Good. Breathing in. And out. Great. Stick your bottom out. Nice flat back and curling down. And up. Making sure your head's the last thing to come up. Now the cactus. Breathing in. And breathing out. Arms bent. Lift your chest. Look up at the ceiling. Feel a real stretch across your chest, arms up above your head, and breathing out to come down, all the way down, hanging down at the bottom, and on a breath out, pull your belly button in towards your spine, and curling up. And one more of those, breathing in, and out, cactus. Spread your fingers, really pull your elbows down. And arms up above your head and stretching as you come down and curling down all the way. And up. Nice. Coming down onto, actually let's do the dynamic warm up today. Sorry, I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Copy me, put your one knee up to your chest. And down. And other. So we're warming the body up nicely for the exercise we're going to do. We do three on each side. This helps with a bit of balance, waking up the nerves, waking up the muscles and joints, warming it all up. Except for Unica, who's still in her twenties, we all need a little bit more warming up. <laughs> Pulling up and down, other side. Hold under the ankle, not the foot, because you can actually overstretch the, the ankle ligament. So actually hold above the ankle bone. And other side, good. One more each side. Waking up your balance. Last time on the right. And the left. There we go. Good. Pull your foot up behind you. Try and keep your knees in line. Tuck your bottom in and reaching up with the other arm. And change sides. And change. So try and keep the knees in line. And tuck your bottom in. Don't arch your back like that. Change. One more each side. And last time. Good. Cross your right leg over your left and reach down to the floor. And coming up and change sides. And up. And change. Back to the left. And crossing left over right. One more each side. As you come up, open up your arms. So turn your palms outwards so that you open up your chest. Because most movements all happen in front of us. Good. Legs nice and wide. We're going to slide down the right side. Swish through the middle. And up on the left. Good. And down the left. And really stick the bottom out. Exaggerate that movement, get a nice stretch all the way. So with this dynamic warm-up, like I said before, you're getting a nice 
sort of muscles and joints and all the tissues sliding and sliding against each other so that they, when you're moving, nothing gets stuck. Nothing pulls. Last time this side. Nice. Okay. Coming down, keep your left leg in front, right leg straight out behind you, hands on the floor. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. And you're going to twist to the right. Look up at your hands. And hands down on either side of the foot and straighten that knee in the front. And bend it again and twist to the left. And down. And straight the hamstring. Twist to the right. And down. And straight. And left. Down. And straight. And last time to the right. Look at your hand. Oh, and stretch. And look to the left. And stretch. Come into the middle and just hang down here. If you can, get your elbows on the floor. And just hold it there for a minute or two. If you need to start your discovery watch, don't forget, start it now. Turn it to the other side. Now my right leg is in front. Hands on the inside of the right leg, back leg is straight. And we're going to twist to the left. Look at your hands. Hands on either side of your right foot and straighten that right knee and back down. And to the left. And down. And straighten. Back to the right, left. And straighten the front knee. Right, stretch, look at your hands. Last time each side, stretch. Left, last time. Stretch. And right. Get your feet together and curling up. Alrighty, good. So, our first 60 seconds, we're going to do the ski jump. So, jumping to the side. If you've got back issues, I don't want you doing the twist. I just want you doing this, the jump. If you've got knee issues, you can literally step it, or you can do the high knees. Okay, so those are your options. No one must get sore. Right, we're going to go in three, two, one, and go. We're doing 60 seconds. Really push the leg that you're on. So push off that left leg. Push off the right. Nice. Remember your options if you get sore. That's 15 seconds down. 20. Nice guys, looking good. Remember, if you've got any injuries, you mustn't irritate them. And let me know. And if you're fasting for Ramadan, please don't do the high intensity. 20 seconds left. So remember, if you've got a sore back, you don't need to do the twist. Ten seconds. If you need to do the high knees for knee injuries or through fasting. Three, two, one. Very good. First minute down. Right, come on to your knees, hands and knees. On your mat, with your mat facing lengthwise. So in this position, you're going to take your right leg, straighten it up behind you, and put it on the outside of your mat, so it's a little bit out to the side. So use your mat as your guide, or your imaginary mat if you're not using one. So from here, we're going to slide the toe up towards you, so your knee touches your elbow. So keep the toe on the floor, let's go for 10. And let's go. Slide it up, and down. So your toes stay touching the floor the whole time. And you imagine sliding it along the side of your mat. Try to keep the weight evenly on both hands. Back stays nice and flat, shoulders away from your ears. Knee to elbow and down. This is really just like the warm up for the rest of it. And to get the right placement of the knee and foot. Two more. One more. Put it up now, hold it there. Now from here, 
Keep your toes low and lift the knee up. One, two, so just the knee lifting up. Three, and squeeze at the top. Four, five, six, seven, we're going to ten. Eight, nine, ten. Now hold that knee up. Keep that knee lifted. And we're going to lift the foot up and down. One, like a fire hydrant. Two, but keep trying to get that knee higher. Three, four, five, coming in, shoulders down. Six, don't drop the knee. Seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it up there. Hold it up there and squeeze the knee a bit higher. Squeeze the knee a bit higher and relax it down. Into child's pose, nice. So that works your gluteus medius, which is very important for stabilizing the hips, for any knee problems, back problems, running issues, pretty much everything. Okay, now lengthen out your left leg, out to the side a little bit, as if it was on the edge of your mat, and you're going to slide it up towards you. Let's go in three, two, one, slide the toe along the floor, bring your knee to your elbow. Tummy stays nice and connected, pull it up towards the spine. Weight evenly through both hands. And back nice and flat. Imagine you've got a tray with some coffee. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a good double shot flat wipe right now. Three more. Two more. And one. Hold it there. I'm going to turn face you. Keep it there. Now from here, I'm just lifting the knee up and down. One, toes stays on the floor. Two, three, four, and squeeze it up top. Take it five, like really give it that extra squeeze. Seven, flat back, coming in, shoulder down. Nine, ten, now hold it there, keep that knee lifted. This is give you the shape and lift your toe off the floor. One, keep trying to lift the knee higher. Two, three, Four. Coming in, shoulders down. Five. Six. Seven. You should be feeling your butt on both sides. Nine. Ten. Hold it up there. Hold it there. Lift the knee higher. Squeeze. Lift it higher. And take it down. Nice and sharp pose. So as I say, that works these muscles right in the butt, which are quite difficult to work and super important for any injury. Right, into a plank position. We're gonna do our two minute plank. Front for 30 seconds, side, front, side. Okay, 30 seconds each. So, let's get into position. We're gonna do our front plank for 30 seconds. Remember, clasp your hands. Get your nose over your hands. And we're gonna get ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. Lift the hips up, tuck under. So it's not a flat plank like that. I want to lift the hips up. And keep pushing yourself forward. Shoulders down, tummy in. Squeeze your bum. That's 15. And breathe. 10 more, then we're going on to our left elbow. Three, two, one, try not to come down. Keep that top leg in front, back leg behind, and lift you on your side. On our left side, lift those hips. Tilt that top hip forward, and make a rainbow. Nice. In 10. Three, two, one, come back into a front plank. Hold if you can. Lift the hips and tuck your tummy. Tuck your bum. We're nearly there, guys. Very good. 10 seconds. And we're changing over in 3, 2, 1. Come onto your right side. Connect yourself. Front, top leg in front. Lift the hips and roll a little bit forward. Squeeze your bum. And hold it. Squeeze your inner thighs together. We've got 
15 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Oh. Very good. That got the heart rate going. Nice, come and stand up. We're going to do our 60 seconds of the ski jump. So remember, stepping, jumping it. If you've got any back issues, don't do the twist. Or high knees. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. If you've got no injuries, I want you doing this full thing. Jumping it, touching the floor. And twist. How many stay there and connected the whole time? Set your back and make sure your shoulders are staying away from your ears. <laughs> 20 seconds. Dig it, lying next to me here on the couch, having the best dream ever. He's imagining running in the mountains. 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. Remember if your back's getting sore, jump to the side, don't do the twist. Keep it up. 15 seconds. And if, you, if you're trying to keep your heart rate not as high, if you've got any other injuries, stepping it up. That's it. Three, two, one. Very good. That was round two. You guys are getting very fit. I'm impressed. Okay, come back down into your mat. We're now doing the Superman. In a high plank position, you're going to lift your opposite arm and leg, and you're going to try and balance, and you're going to hold it for five seconds. If your back hurts, I want you on your hands and knees, and lengthening. With this one, if you're doing it on hands and knees, I don't want that. No arching the back. Tuck your behind that, and think about lengthening your arm and your leg away from you, rather. Okay, so coming to a high plank. Or hands and knees, whichever option you're choosing. And we're going to lift left arm, right leg. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. And change. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Left, two, four, five. Right side, one. Three, four, five. One more each side. One, two, four, five. And last time, one, three, four, five. Whew. And take it back. Nice. Those exercises work pretty much every muscle in the body. Okay, onto your side. We're going to do high side plank. Elbow behind your head, knee to elbow, but both legs out straight. So, coming to this position, I find these very hard. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one, knee to elbow, one, two, three, keep your balance, four, five, we're going for eight. Other side. It's amazing how hard these kind of exercises can be and they really get your heart rate up because you're working every single muscle. So, on your other side, if you can't do that, if it's too hard, you can do it with this or do it on both knees. Okay. So, let's go in three, two, one, and go. One. Two, try and take it off the side. Three, four, five, six. Good job, guys. Seven, eight, and coming down. Good. Roll your wrist down. Very nice. Right, 60 seconds. Come standing up. This seems to come very quickly. So, 60 seconds, ski jump, 
You know your options by now. I'll go as soon as they go. Pick what works for you guys. This is really about getting your heart rate up. There's another exercise, you can do it. Let's go in three, two, one. And go. Whichever exercise you're doing, keep your form. Make sure your shoulders are down and back. Tummy's tucked in. And you do the exercise with focus. 15. Nice, 20. That's it guys, 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Remember your options. If you need to do this, for your back, your back's getting sore bending over, please do. If you're doing high knees, you can also add a squat in there if you want. You can do this. 15 seconds, just keep moving. Let's go, 10. Good job, round three done. Come sitting on your mat. Legs down in front of you. Have a sip of water if you need, sorry. Okay. Legs down straight. Hands facing towards your bottom. Remember, always make sure your neck doesn't sink into your shoulders. You want to push the floor away so you lengthen the neck. You want to have a nice, long, elegant neck. And we're going to, from here, keeping your knees dead straight, we're going to lift our bottom up in three, two, one. Tummy in and lift. Take a nice straight line. Look to your feet and down. And two, up. Squeeze the bum, squeeze the hamstrings, push the floor away. And down. And up. Look at your feet. Squeeze your bottom. Push the floor away. Lengthen your neck. And down. Two more like that. This is working your posterior chain. And down. And last one up. Lift. Squeeze. And down. Put an eyelash in my eye. Now we're going to go up. And you're going to lift one leg up. And down. And the other side. We're going to repeat. We're going to do three on one side. Lifting up. Lift the left leg. One. Two. Three. And down. Push the floor away. One. Two. Three. And left side. Squeeze your hips together. Lift up. Two. Three. Tummy and shoulders down. Right leg. Two. Three. And down, and reach for your toes. Relax in this position, just have a little stretch. Alrighty, staying here. Now bend your knees. Again, I can hear Kayla coming up the stairs. Is that a big girl? No, we're going to stay there. Oh, dogs are joining. Okay, right. Hands facing your bottom. Jiggy, Jiggy, come here, my boy. I know, come, go back and lie on the couch, you're beautiful, I know, stay there. Right, knees bent, and lift your hips up. Lift your hips up quite high, not completely flat, just comfortable. And now you're going to bend your elbows, you're doing tricep lifts. So you're going down and up. But feel the difference if you keep the weight over your hands, so almost push your weight through your heels, and up. Elbows lift your back, three. Four. Again, always remembering, five. Push the floor away. So elegant long neck. Look elegant. Tummy in. Seven. Heels. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very nice. Lie on your back. Keep your knees bent. Hands on the floor, palms down. From here, you're going to lift your hips up, curling up. Okay, so you're all in this position, hips up in this position, tilt your pelvis, squeeze your bottom. So I want your pubic bone a little bit higher than your hip bones, tummy pulled in and squeezing the bottom. And you can almost get like a smile line where your bum meets your legs. Keep saying that, make sure you don't drop your hips, 
We're going to march the legs for 20. Let's go. Two. Don't drop the hips. Three. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your tummy. If you're feeling your back, tilt your pelvis more. And squeeze that tummy. That's it. Keep going. Ten more. Push through the heels. So you really activate your back line there. Nice. Tilt the pelvis. Squeeze your bum. Four more. Three. Tummy in. Two. And last on each side. And come down. Hug your knees to your chest. So back to the circle. We're just working all the backline muscles. All our posterior muscles. Right. Rolling your knees. Pulling your knees to come up. And we're going to do our 60 seconds. This is, this is number five. That's good. Right, so 60 seconds. You know what your options are. I'll talk you through it as we go. Let's go. Just make sure you don't stop moving. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. Ski jumps. Keep your form. Let's go. You've got your other options, either just doing the legs, which is still cardio, it just doesn't hurt your back, or you're doing knee lifts, that's it, or a squat and a knee lift, I don't mind what you're doing, just don't stop moving, halfway, pick your options so you don't hurt yourself. And you can change between the two. On three, 20 seconds left. Remember, if your back's getting sore, just jump. 10 seconds, or knee lift. You can do all of them. Squat to knee lift. Five, three, two, one. Good job, well done. Nice work. Okay. Now, you're going to sit, find a wall, or a cupboard, or a surface even. I want you to sit right back against the wall, or a cupboard, or something that's flat. So you might need to move around. If you're on the patio, just be any little bit of wall. It just needs to be narrow like the body. And a cupboard or something, okay. Right, it just needs to be something that's not going to move. Put it that way, so you can really be solid against it. Now you're going to sit yourself with your bottom right back against the wall. Even put your bum out a little bit so your legs are straight. If your hands are too short, bend your knees a little bit. So from the side, you want to be right back. Back straight, legs straight. You can to lift. But what I don't want is that pelvis tilting. So you need to really even if it's against the couch, that's against the wall. As long as it's a solid surface, that's this part of you can be against. Right. Now you're going to watch my feet. It's a very small movement. Arms not on, resting by your side. Tummy in. Your knee stays dead straight. I'm going to show you from the side. Knee stays dead straight. And you're going to lift it up and down. Squeeze knee tight first. And lift. Make sure you stay right back against the wall. We're going to 10. It's a small movement. Very small and really works the quads. It's tough. You're not going to get a big range. The most important thing is that your body stays right back against the wall, bum back, and that your knee is straight. Good. That's 10. Same size. Squeeze that other knee and lift. And lift. If you can't lift, just do the action. Even if it's not literally leaving the floor, make sure your bottom is 90 degrees. Five. That knee must stay straight. You should be feeling your quads. If you're finding this easy, I guarantee your bottom's not against the wall. So, reset. Okay. Now, feet turned out into first position. So my feet are like this. Legs are together. Squeeze your legs together. 
hands, soft knee on the floor, tummy in, make sure you're right back, and you're going to lift your right leg, knee absolutely straight, two, three, keeping that leg at 45 degrees, four, good, keep lifting, three more, two, one, if you find it is easy, take your bottoms against the wall, and other side, one, two, three, four, five, keep going, coming in, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, and shake your legs, get up, Okay, we're doing another set of both. So, reset yourself. Make sure your bottom is flat against the wall. I even pull, I've got bum muscle that I pull my soft tissue out. Up nice and tall, tummy in, feet up to the ceiling. And we're going to lift our this right. And the finger right leg, squeeze your knee dead straight and then lift. One. You can see it's a small movement. Two. Three. And you might find your quad feels like it's going to cramp. And you know you're doing it right. So this is actually quite a tough exercise. Good. Three more. Very good for knee pain. And one. Anyone who's got knee pain, this is your exercise. Other side. Squeeze that knee straight. Kneecap squeeze tight. Lock the knee and lift. One. Two. Back against the wall. Three. Coming in. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, sounds like I'm going to cramp on that one. Right, now it's time. Turn your feet out to the side, 45 degrees, first position. But leg sides are together. Legs are together. And reset. Make sure your bum's back. Come in. And we're going to lift the right leg. Squeeze and straight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, you got this, eight, I'm starting to feel a cramp, nine, ten, if you're finding it easy, you're cheating, and other leg, one, knee dead straight, two, or you're a machine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten and shake a leg out. Good. So for any knee injuries, honestly, if there's one exercise you do, it's this one and the walking sideways with a band. I'll show that one to you. All right. Come and lie on your back. Rolling back. So we're going to do the exercise. I'll show you first. We're going to cycle to three times, we're going to this side, so three, and then we're going to roll onto the side, onto your elbow and your bum cheek, and back, and then we go one, two, three, okay, so don't do it yet, let's get going, we'll do it together, in three, two, one, right, left, right, left roll to the right side, you hold that position, and come back, Left, right, left, hold it, roll, and back, right, left, right, hold it there, and roll, and back, left, right, left, and roll to the side, and back, two more each side, one, two, three, and roll, and back. One, two, three, and roll. Make sure your low back is touching. One, two, three. Don't arch your back at any point in time. You must have like a curve. And back, last time. One, two, three, and back. And hug your knees to your chest. Very nice. Okay. Come on to your side. We're going to do some abs, we're 
going to do a little bit of sideline stuff and then the abs to finish. So on your side, arm head resting on your arm. I want you to bring your feet and your legs about 30 degrees, 45 degrees in front of you. So I'm kind of like in a bit of a banana shape. Okay, roll your top hip slightly forward so that my butt, my side butt here is facing the ceiling. Tummy in, tilt your pelvis. Have a little, a little tunnel for the ants. Lengthen your top leg away from you. So try and beat your toes off the wall. We're going to lift up for 10. Let's go in 3, 2, 1. Lift and down. Make sure your hip is rolled forward. If you're going too high, you're on your side and you're turning your leg round. So I want your foot facing forward the whole time. Lengthen that. So you should feel it here. And if you're going too high, you're rolling back. Three, two, have your hand in front of you for balance. One, hold it up there. Pulse it. Keep that top hip rolled forward. Squeeze that leg straight, lengthen it away. Hold it there, circles. Eight, nine, ten, circles the other way. One, two, keep the height. Three, four, lengthen that hip away. Now hold it there. Roll onto your underneath bottom, your bum cheek. And now you're going to lift. Bottom leg up and down. Two, and now do it on a breath out. So your top leg stays there, the underneath leg comes to join it. Tummy in. And you lie on your underneath bum cheek. Two more. One more. And legs down. Right, now we're doing the coming up into a V. Top arm on your side. You're going to use this underneath arm to slide up. And you're going to roll onto your underneath bum cheek and lift. And down. Let's go for 10. 2. And down. Lovely. Look at you all. 3. So much elegance. I'm impressed. 4. And down. Lengthen everything. 5. Lengthen your legs. Look elegant. And down. 6. And down. 7. And down. 8. Coming out. Coming in. That's it. Two more. Lovely. Last one. Hold it there. Hold it there. You got it. And down. Uh, very good. Bring that front knee in front. Okay, come on to the other side. So, this was actually done for earlier in the class and I just forgot it. Sorry, but anyway. Doesn't matter as long as you get to do it. Right. Lie with your head flat on your arm. Legs in front of you. About 30 degrees. Roll your top hip forward. So you can see now suddenly see with a white line on my tummy. If my hips are stacked one on top of the other, you can't. And I roll forward. Now lengthen that top leg away from you, hand in front of you, and we're gonna lift. Let's go for ten. I want you to really feel it in the dent, where your dent in your bum would be. If you're not, roll more forward and try and lengthen that leg to touch the wall away from you every time. And you always have a little tunnel here. I don't want this. So that's just your body moving. And hold up there. Let's pulse it. Lengthen that foot away from you and lift. Two, four, tummy in. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Circles. One more. Eight one way. Keep your hips dead still. It's just the leg that's moving. Another way. And now hold it there. Keep the height on that top leg. Roll onto your underneath bum cheek. So you roll back. And on a breath out, you're going to lift that bottom leg to touch. One. And breathe out. The top leg stays there. Three. Five. Six. 
Lovely. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And lying down. We're going to come up into a B. Come to the front of your mat a little bit so you've got space to roll back. Arm flat. We're going to roll back onto our underneath bump. Take a lift. And down. Two. Breathing out as you come up. And down. Try and make it look nice and long and elegant. Three. Legs long, neck long, arm long. Lovely. Six. That's it. Seven. And eight. Good. Couple more. Nine. And ten. Hold it. Hold it. And down. Very nice. Come lie on your back. Stretch out your legs. Stretch out your arms. We're going to do three roll-ups from here. So breathing in. Breathing in on the left. Arms and head up. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And breathing out. Rolling all the way forward. Remember in this position to keep up tall. So you're not sinking. Sitting up nice and straight and curling down from the pelvis. That's very good, guys. Breathing in. Head and arms up. Breathing out. Curling up. Lift up and over and reaching forward. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders down and back. And start to curl down from the pelvis. That's it. Last one. Breathing in. And out. And reaching forward. Breathing out. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders down and back. And curling down from the pelvis. Very, very good, guys. Stay there. We're going to start off straight. Okay. Bending your knees. Arms up above your head. Take your left leg, put your left ankle over your right knee, and take the leg down to your left side, and look towards your right hand. That's it. Nice, straight. Good. Bring the knees up, and take that same leg, stay there, and go down to the other side. And in this position, really try and get that top leg, top knee down, and Stretch and look away to your right hand. Left hand. And coming up. Good. Change legs. Take these legs down to the left side. And stretch. Coming back up. And again, it's coming to stretch. Keep that leg there. Take the knees down to the other side. Kayla does love it when we're on the floor. This is very exciting. Good. And hug your knees into your chest. And curling up. And a big girl. Okay. Sitting up, you're going to roll your shoulders. And rolling. Good. And a big girl. Kisses. <laughs> and my love. Good. And look over your right shoulder. And roll the chin on your chest to the left side. And down. Nice. And again, keep going. And down. Good. Thank you, guys. That was awesome. Um, we'll see you tomorrow, same time at 9. And then we'll definitely...